happy Friday people. Hello. Now you can mention your chins if you want to. Oh yeah, buy my chins next week. Yeah, next week. Until, we'll... until then, <laughs> have more food. Yeah, back on the diet on Monday I'm afraid. So... Yeah, one for Mark to have a lap at my next door neighbour. We only got diets on Mondays. Yeah, we're on our way to Ikea. I can feel headache coming on already, I hate that place. But on a positive note, there's a Taco Bell close by. According to Google, so I hope it's not lying to us, and we can go there for lunch. It's a long detour from Murphy to Alicante. It is, yeah. Bell. We're heading to IKEA because I want to look at new kitchens. I've lived in my house now for well, it'll be two years in October, and all I've done to it really is is a bit of painting and a little bit of decorating. So it's about time I started getting some proper work done to it. Also, my dad's going to be moving back over to Spain in December. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. And we've decided probably the best option for him is to convert my garage into a little self-contained apartment. Bugger, I forgot. Need a tape measure in IKEA because I need to measure this bit and this bit because Disney on their website, hopefully they'll be in the shops, do masks that are bigger than normal, which will cover my other chins. Yeah, the masks don't fit Andy properly. Yeah, and this is going to be the start of our weekend vlog this weekend. Yeah, we're not sure whether we do one, but. We had some uh, some responses and some subscribers from the one that we released yesterday. So Which were crap actually. Yeah, but hi to all the new subscribers, thanks a lot. Hi guys, us so, again. So you're looking that way and I'm looking this way because we've got we're just anyway. testing out the new GoPro to see if it works all right. Yeah, the GoPro. So now. we thought we'd better get a bit of footage on my um, my iPhone. phone as well, just in case it's not as good as it should be. So here we are at IKEA. Uh, well, we'll have a look through there. We'll see if we can get any funny footage when we come back out of people trying to fit an entire <laughs> kitchen into the back of a Ford KA for you. Yeah. But we'll wait and see what happens. Uh, we're not going to be trying to fit an entire kitchen into my car, that is a fact. One thing that we have noticed, um, we've just been briefly by a Thadar. Thadar? Thadar. 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 Which is a, a, another shopping centre. We've got, we've got two shopping centres here. We've got one actually here next to our care called Thadar. And then, as I said before, we've got Nueva Condomina across the motorway. Thadda is an outdoor shopping centre. Nueva Condomina is an indoor shopping centre. So we're going to have a quick dip to both of them. I'm sure this is going to be very windy and you're probably not going to hear me very well. Technically, on the IKEA website, doesn't matter where you go, you should be able to pick it up or order it or get it from the store here in Spain. So if you look at the English one, you should still be able to get it in Spain. So we're told. Typical COVID stuff we've got to do. Clean the basket, clean the handles, clean the hands. I can't know anything about dirty mounds. Shoot me now, they're doing my editing already. Normally I can go over here, but I actually think this is busier than it normally is. Dime bar, dime bar, armadillos. This is Thadder, it's got a multiplex cinema and hopefully Taco Bell. So we're going to go on a, in a search now for Taco Bell for lunch because it's lunch time. Donuts on the way home. You'll appreciate that. So, finally, finally managed to find it. Oh, Yay. yeah, I'm she's... so happy. <laughs> you can't tell, but I am smiling. Wonders never cease. So, we're finally at where we came for, apart from IKEA. Taco Bell. Andy's ordered way too much food, way too much food. He's ordered a duo meal, which is for two people, plus a taco meal. So we've got three meals between two of us. No, I ordered a taco meal. What, what have you ordered then? Just a taco is an extra. 
I thought you'd ordered that no. spicy taco no, supreme. No, no, no. no, the taco is an extra. So you've not paid six seventy five for the whole no. lot of it? No. Okay, I'll... That is still too much food. That's a big crunchy, I think it's called, or something like that. Yes, dear. Anyway, one of them's got pork in it, one of them's got spicy chicken, the taco's got beef in it. The, the big crunchy's got spicy chicken in it, the um, quesadilla's got pork in it, and the taco's got beef in it. So we've got I've a good got concoction there. Spicy sauce. And ketchup. And I can't wait till so I'm starving. So that's Taco Bell done. Success, we found it. Didn't eat all of it. I knew we wouldn't eat all of it. Well, not, maybe, yeah, it. not quite as good as the one in Alicante, I don't think, but still really nice. I'd just go for the quesadillas next time, though. Yeah. But just to give you a quick look, this is a Friday afternoon in a big shopping centre in Murcia and. It's almost empty. Actually, yeah, a lot of the, a lot, but it's hardly <laughs> surprising that a lot of the shops are closed because there's nobody here. So we're in a shop I've never heard of before. Kayabi? Is it called? Kayabi. All right. Oh, t-shirt frenzy. Oh, you see some t-shirts that you like. Superman, Marvel, Donkey Kong, Top Gun. Ooh. And they are very sad when it comes to Japanese Darth Vader. Oh, that's a different Ghostbusters t-shirt. ACDC, yeah, Kiss, not interested in the hard rock stuff. I think I've found Maddie's Christmas present. So this is a hobby shop. I don't know what sort of hobby this would be. It's not like it's not like what, as a hobby? Yeah. What were you shooting? Targets. But don't forget my dad and my granddad were gamekeepers as well, so. So over there is the football stadium where Mercia play football. They're, they're part of the, what league are they, Andy? Because football's like a foreign language to me. It is to me as well. It's La Liga. I think they might be in La Liga. Yeah. Well, they play some big, um, they play some big um, teams like Barcelona and, and everything. <laughs> I've got mine on. Got a bed of them in, but time we get to Disney next year, they'll be, be knackered. I'll have to buy some more. Oh, look, there's empty shops here as well, actually. I never felt a thing. Yours. Oh my god. So we come to the Apple shop. And it's closed. What's it saying? Uh, saying it's closed. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Disney shops go, this is tiny, especially compared to the one in Rome. 22 euros for four. Maybe that's what you get in your pack of four, look. Oh, they've got a marble, they've got marble ones, look. Oh, they've got a Star Wars one as well. Yeah. They've got the princesses, they've got the Pixar. <coughs> These kind of size shop. Oh, look, they've even got. Signatures, yeah. yeah. How cool is that? Cool. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, what, what's your, what's your order? He doesn't say much. He doesn't say anything, but he opens and closes But it says chalk and move. Oh. It's the... Uh, it's the Theme Park Express, they call theirs Nugget. Oh, 
<clears throat> cool. You've not seen it, have you? No. I thought that was bad for then it's not checking chat on it. Yeah. Oh, it's um, ham. Yeah. Ooh. So it's Star Wars, but it's actually Mandalorian. And on the sleeves, it says, This is the way. I've never watched Mandalorian, so I don't know what that means. Heathen. So we finished in Nueva Condomina. We bought masks from the Disney shop, Yay! which are actually really comfy. Yeah, they were uh, 22 euros for four, I think. Yeah, 22 euros for four. So I picked this one for, I bought, they're all different designs, but they're all different, got different designs on them. Andy went, Andy went for the Star Wars one, I went for the Mickey and the Minnie Mouse one. So I've picked this one because this is the most conservative out of the four of them. And I'll let the kids pick one when I get home and then there's one spare. It's Saturday. And the first job of the morning is take Polly to the vets for a check out after his operation. Yeah, well, I was going to. Too early. It's not, he's, he didn't have a serious operation. He's got some little lumps, but he's 12 now, so I worry about him. And there were little lumps that I've been keeping an eye on. But when I went back to the UK for three weeks and came back, I noticed that one of them had got quite a lot bigger, so come on Pele, good boy. So we booked him in to get him get him removed. And then just after I booked him in, he got something called an oral hematoma, which is not oral O R A L, it's not in the mouth, it's A U R A L in the ear. And it's come on Pele, where a little blood vessel bursts in his ear, and his ear black and it fills up with blood, so he had that done at the same time. So today's a checkup. Hopefully get his bandage taken off of his head because it's driving him mad. So there's Pelly, a very happy boy, because he's got his bandage off. There. You want your tail, Pel? You're happy? Good boy. I'm here to Carmen's for breakfast because they do an absolutely fantastic breakfast here. We'll show you. It's a local bar that does sort of good home cooked English food. How about I'm You're in the there, but it's, it's your mask. Not my chins. No, they're covered by your mask. So we've, we're going to order. Results. We're going to order a breakfast. They do things like karaoke here and have different sorts of um, events on here. But this is the breakfast menu, and they are proper lovely butcher's sausages. They're not crappy frozen things. So that's the, that's the breakfast menu. Try get a large, bigger than that. Kind of with extra mushrooms. Jessica got a large but swapped out a bacon for a black pudding and hash browns. So, load of toast. And then got a large as it comes. Yeah. And actually they use there's a local English butchers here that do really good sausages so they use theirs, it's not cheap stuff. Just parked outside my house, ready to set off. We've had breakfast at Carmen's and now the very interesting task of Shopping. Joy, but, oh joy. But we did used to do dirty keto. That's a diet for people that don't know yeah, what that is. Just, we're going to do it again. From or Monday. Yeah, from Monday, basically a low carb because we, we hopefully we should shift uh, somewhere in the region about five, ten kilos each. Yeah, I lost ten kilos last time I did it and not even eating small portions neither. So back on the diet on Monday, so we need to get some. Uh, some veggies and things and some double cream yeah and some carb substitutes <coughs> it's not COVID it's just a cold that's developing this is Reeves Butchers they do really nice sausages and Hazlitt and now you notice next door but one there's a Christmas shop this time last year it was busy yeah well, no, it usually opens at the beginning of October. We're not quite there yet. Oh, I haven't got a photo of the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, there's not much stuff that we want. It's English. Well, I want some English mustard. No, I'm Coleman just saying mustard. there's not stuff, but when we do want English stuff, we'll come here. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, you might as well be in Iceland, back in the UK.
These are commoners, muck over here, and they're good. They remind me of what used to be Netto in the UK. Oh, no, I think it's a bit nicer than Netto. This is where I get most yeah. of my shopping from. It's not laid out like Netto because Netto reminded me of a warehouse. And this is a proper supermarket. It's all laid out nicely inside. Yeah. 122. That cost, all that basket full there. Well, it's like about 30. All that basket full there. And there's loads of fresh veggies in it, um, prawns, turkey, mince, no all sorts. No alcohol, no. 122 euros and 40 cents. In Iceland, come on, we can carry on walking now. In Iceland, um, we got half a bag of shopping between us and it came to nearly 20 euros for half a bag of shopping. So Mercadonna definitely wins hands down. It's clear out the garage time. I've already done a lot of it. But I've got the builders coming to start doing oh, the yeah. conversion, yeah. So this, there's not much left to get out really. Just a little bit. And it's hard to think that this, in a few weeks time, will be a self-contained apartment. They've started marking out and even on the floor you can see marks. So it's gonna come out to here, there. This bit here is going to be the bathroom. That's going to be the bedroom. I've got a guy coming out on Monday to chop the fig tree right back because, because that's more like a fig jungle and get rid of all those. I'm going to have a shed put in there. So it should be good when it's done. Saturday night, no wine, she's cooking. Yeah, I'm batch cooking loads of food for the start of the diet. Next week I'm making some meatballs. I'm making some Thai green curry. I'm going to make some lasagna, so it's going to be busy, a busy night. And Francesca's outside sorting out bags full of Playmobil, ready to put on Facebook by himself. See if she can sell some of it. Because that was half the garage full. <laughs> yeah. um, so we've got here, what's in there? Well that's just onions at the moment, onions and chillies. Yeah, I, I run out of space in my blender so I'm doing it a bit by a bit. Well, what I was doing is just prepping the Thai green curry, which is, over here we don't tend to buy, you can buy chicken breast, which we don't. I buy turkey, like turkey, the, like the tenderloins are turkey, and it stays a lot moister than chicken actually, it's nice and it holds together, it's quite firm. And I don't buy um, ready-made pastes, I make my own, so this is the ginger, I've got limes in, lime zest and lime juice in with the onions already, and I don't know if the ghost chilies or if the um, California Reapers, it's something that my dad grew, but they're hot. I put a it's, little bit in, it might need a little bit more in. Uh, in I words, don't put any more in just at the moment. In the words of one Disney blogger that you all know, it's a little bit spicy. It is a little bit, well it might be, if it's not I'll put a bit more in. Yeah, if not we've got some, um, I think for want of a better word, I think it's called back, the hot sauce. Yeah, it's habanero sauce that No, the got. other one, the one about the little ones I got. Alright, oh, okay. So yeah, and we've also got some, uh, Ellen was just talking about some habanero sauce, which you can buy from the Mexican Pavilion yeah, in, in Epcot. Yeah, inside um, the inside the um, what's it called pyramid. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, it costs about what is it, fifteen dollars. Yeah, it's quite about expensive. fifteen dollars. Well. Fifteen dollars a bottle, but because it's the sauce, we don't tend to throw things away. It's in the fridge, and we've had that now for three years. If, if it's gone out of date, I still use it unless my friend Joanne comes to visit. Joanne. If you come to visit, do not throw my sauces away out of the fridge. Again? Yeah. Something I got from Tadar yesterday. Bit of a retro. Go on, you were saying Tadar yeah, What so the making, hell are you chucking in there now? Uh, Camino. I don't know what it is in English. I'm not sure. I can't remember the name of them in English, but they're just uh, little, little spices. Um, so yeah, I'm making Thai green curry, I'm making some spicy meatballs because we're the on the diet again next week so I'm just prepping and I'm going to make a lasagna with aubergine layers rather than pasta layers so it's a little bit like um, moussaka but not, yeah. it's more lasagna if you, than moussaka. If you moussaka. think in the video, uh, think of the diet's a little bit strange, it's, uh, it's kind of like keto but not keto, yeah, it's, it's dirty low, keto, it's low, low carb. Low carb, a really low carb diet and it works well for us last time. You see it? Yeah. That's the green curry paste for the Thai green curry. So I'll just I'll put a bottle of no I won't put a bottle of anything in it. I'll put a can of coconut milk into it as well. 
when it's cooking and that should taste lovely. So it's not out of a jar, it's all fresh made? Always. So there's the green curry on, it's a massive batch, so hopefully it'll do us a few meals. I'm just going to get the um, tomato sauce on for the meatballs. Homemade Thai green curry. And loads of meatballs in the kitchen. And we say they're not on that. No. It's Sunday morning and actually, amazingly, Maddie um she went to the beach yesterday with some friends and she did some filming and she actually spoke on it and she sent us that to show us what she did on her saturday afternoon and we're going to put that here now right today is my turn uh we are in the playa de los saladers and with lady Gwen is there joel and juana Estamos en el mirador de Santa Pola, de aquí del mirador del Faro. Eh, eh, ta. <risa> ta, ta. Yes. Es que molaría que tú tuvieras una foto. Chicos, ¿sí? say hi. <risa> ¿Qué haces? Me el móvil, que no lo veo. If Francesca did video to show us what she did on a Saturday afternoon, this is what it would be. So it's, it's lunchtime, it's one o'clock and we are going to Market Street, which is a really nice restaurant in a place called San Miguel de Salinas. I'll wait until the cars have gone past though. They do, yeah, they do really nice Sunday lunch. Apparently they do a nice evening meal as well, but we've never had that. We'll show you a little bit in this vlog of what we get. But we'll also do a full dining review as well. Just Smile. So you can see the price of the Sunday lunch there. Maybe not the cheapest Sunday lunch you can find about, but it is really good and everything on the menu is homemade. I love the patty. Here it's got homemade patty. And we'll probably all go for three dishes as well because we're greedy. Sweaty because we just shifted the kitchen. Yeah, it's been quite a productive weekend actually. Um, just in case you didn't know, I have actually got my own house. 
Yeah, this is where Andy lives. And Honest. His, and his pride and joy. Yeah. Do, just twist, 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 round, twist, round, twist, round. There. Yeah. Mm. It's an old man's car. Yeah, whatever, I'll have it later uh, later on this week. And then, actually, I was just spinning around. Behind it, there's a Satsuma Clementine tree, something. Apparently, the one, the purple one, I can get it. The purple one, there, is a potato plant. Is it? Or a potato tree, that's what your mum called it. That. Your mum? Yeah, yeah, she said it was called a potato sure? tree. It ain't got potatoes on it. Has she been smoking kippers at time? I don't know. She's probably been on the brandy blesser. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? And then we've got a lemon tree that Helen bought me as a moving in present. It was a little bit smaller than that one. It was a little smaller than that. And then, loads of lemons. and then that's an apricot tree. And then this. Was this here? Did we... I don't know, but it's a big Or oh, did it come from your dad's? Oh, it might have come from I think this come from mum and dad's when they moved from Spain back to England. They ended yeah. up with this, which was in a pot. Yeah. And the damn thing, look at the size of it. And there's loads of figs. And you can smell it here, you can smell it at Helen's. The garden just smells of figs. Great. Now we're going to make the 45 minute journey back from the Costa Clida back up to the water toy gag. And then we'll go for a walk. Uh, I need a tea first. A cup of tea. Yeah. Oh. So that's more or less the end of our weekend vlog. She's not trying to kill me. Well, we're back on it now. So <coughs> this is the first walk. Andy sounds really healthy. This is the first. It's not COVID. This is the first walk for a long time. Well, it's not because we're walking either. It's just I've got a bit of a cold. Me and Francesca before coronavirus were walking every night. We were doing six kilometres in an hour. So we're going to do the six kilometres tonight, I think. But probably. No. Yeah. Probably in a, maybe an hour and a half instead. I didn't pick my wallet up, could have called it every pub on the way. Yeah. So it's been quite a productive weekend. Managed to clear the garage out, ready to start work on it. Get some of Francesca's old toys on the buy and sell sites on Facebook. Anybody want any Playmobil? Yeah, there's loads of Playmobil. Me and Andy, me and Andy spent all last night getting it out the big box that she's got and putting it into sets. We were looking at the pictures to see which little men went with which set. Oh, we did it. Yeah, she's got a mountain bike. This is Chester Wally. She's got a mountain bike that's still got the tag on it, but it was bought from Carrie's for maybe four years ago. Yeah, she um, never used it's it. It's still got the nubbles, the nubbly bits on the tyres. Um, I think it's been used twice. It's got damage to the seat where it's been in storage. Um, apart from that, it's brand new. It's still got the stickers on it and everything. We've managed to move the old kitchen out of the garage and take it back to Andy's. Managed to get the dog sorted out at the vets. Managed to pick a kitchen in Ikea, I think. So, all in all, I call it quite a productive and, um, what word am I looking for? Don't know, but we actually had loads again. Yeah, I feel a bit sick actually, because we've eaten so much. You lot watching this, must be thinking. All we do is eat. All we do is, all it, it's always our job. About food, that's it. Oh, by the way, Alexa, what does the fox say? People are going to think you're completely crazy. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed our weekend. Hope we've not bored you too much. If you'd like us to do another weekend vlog, let us know. If you'd like us not to bother, let us know. But we'll still probably do one anyway. Yeah, and in the meantime, I'll be watching your channels to see what you guys are up to. Yeah, Andy will be. I'll be watching Coronation Street and Emmerdale <laughs> to see what they're getting up to. <coughs> so that's it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you've managed to stick with us to the end, and we'll see you again soon. Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto. She's a donkey. So during lockdown, one of the few things that we is not so easy to get here in Spain is Hendo's. Henderson's relish. Henderson's Yorkshire relish. Sorry. It's from Sheffield. So I put it in everything. <laughs> and I mean everything. The shops where we get it from were short. I can't remember, long story short. I don't know if you're watching this actually, might be. Hi guys. Hello, Phil, Phil and Jill. Phil and Jill, Dr. Bottle. The bottle to replace that one has been in her cupboard for the last two months. I keep meaning to bring it out with me and I keep forgetting. I will bring 
Phil. So you're out of Jill and Phil. I'm so sorry. I will bring you the end of those. Don't get We forgot to say, like, subscribe. Ring that bell. For further notifications. See you Hasta later. pronto.